the Vegetation Continuum Kaya Ulu, a social network for Aina based efforts. He Ali'i no Ka Aina, He Kauva Vale Ke Kanaka emphasizes that the land is chief and man is merely its servant. The traditional native Hawaiian culture, spirituality, customs, beliefs, and practices are all built from the foundation of Aina. Nature and land are alive, respected, honored, and praised. The land is not viewed as a commodity, but rather a foundation of the cultural and spiritual identity of Hawaiians. The vegetation continuum is an ecosystem of Aina-based practices and resources of agroecological principles. This is curated by Kahealani Acosta, a graduate student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. For my Master Environmental Management project, I developed a database that would act as the foundation of the Kaya'ulu, a social network of farmers from six of the Hawaiian islands for the online platform. I would like to take a step back and highlight the bigger picture of this project. The Vegetation Continuum is a board game that seeks to strengthen and foster Aina-based learning with innovative techniques that will empower the future land stewards. By creating games which integrate lessons of Hawaiian language, ethnobotical knowledge, Hawaiian moon phases, and soils of the tropics and subtropics, the Vegetation Continuum takes modern and traditional ecological concepts and then synergizes them. This really elicits the beauty and wholesomeness through a systems thinking lens and conceptualizes Hawaii's ecosystem for its intricate and phenomenal complexity. In relation to the board game, an online platform is in the process of being created. Due to this being a startup, our ideas have constantly been changing. Most recently, it's been discussed that the online platform would look similar to the board game and have a GIS map that connects the social network I've been building to the soil type that the ranchers and farmers are farming on. This really aims to further the individual's knowledge on agroecological principles as it pertains to local food systems in Hawaii, as the board game predominantly focuses on native species. So the purpose of my project specifically is to advocate for the alternative food systems movement that is reverential of Hawaii's agroecological complexity by restoring personal palina with aina and perpetuating lifestyles that are culturally and environmentally aligned with traditional ecological knowledge systems and Hawaiian values and principles. So why is this important? Hawaii's Aloha Plus Challenge, a concerted statewide effort to execute Hawaii's 2050 Sustainability Plan, made an ambitious goal of doubling local food production by 2020, with about 20 to 30 percent of foods consumed being produced locally. Although the current agricultural data are incomplete, as of June 2020, food production has continued to follow a downward trend. Hawaii typically imports about 80 to 90 percent of its food really signifying its vulnerability to food insecurity and economic disruption. Using a series of regression models that adjust for both individual and country level characteristics, the Food Insecurity Experience Scale found that five characteristics are most strongly associated with the likelihood of experiencing food insecurity. These characteristics included low levels of education, weak social networks, limited social capital, low household income, and being unemployed. The Kaya'ulu will address weak social networks, limited social capital, and low levels of education by connecting farmers from different islands and sharing their cultural influence as it relates to their best practices. The social network will strengthen people's understanding of the importance in fostering culture to build a resilient food system and island community. In addition to local food production goals, natural resource management, waste management, and smart sustainable communities were among the other sustainability goals, all of which are interconnected counterparts of agroecological principles. So agroecology, or the understanding of agricultural production as part of an ecosystem, extends its complexities into social systems. An example of this would be the structure and organization of food markets and distribution. This really emphasizes the need to build and strengthen the Kaya'ulu of the vegetation continuum in order to foster indigenous knowledge. Recognizing indigenous knowledge in food production systems allows for building environmentally and culturally sustainable food systems. Indigenous communities have been developing and practicing forms of sustainable agriculture for thousands of years using heritage crops, saving seeds, conserving soils, limiting tillage, and composting organic materials. 
Respecting the expertise and authority of indigenous groups allows us a to build upon deep knowledge systems, while also creating new relationships of trust with communities that have experienced centuries of violence and disposition. This social network aims to connect farmers who share the spiritual and agricultural land-based values of the Hawaiian culture. It aims to provide a platform for these farmers to share and discuss the cultural values and principles that have influenced their best practices in order to learn from one another and to discuss their decision to farm in this day and age. It will also act as a shared living network that promotes farmer to consumer relationships, expands online markets and networks, enhances internet literacy, and fosters the mo'olelo of the farmers with the intent of stimulating a shared sense of kuleana between farmers and communities in retelling the story of local food to build a more resilient food system. So what were our methods, objectives, and outcomes? Our first objective was to develop an online platform for farmers to share ecologically and culturally aligned agricultural strategies with respect to their environment. Our strategies included developing a database of farmers to build a farm profile that would be shared on this online platform. Indicators included initial data points that would be collected to build the foundation of the profile. Data points such as location, farm size, foods grown, does this farm have a social enterprise? Are their crops organic? Where can we find their food? And what type of soil are they growing their food in and the best practices that they're using? Our matrix included the number of social enterprise organic agricultural stakeholders founded per island and entered into this database. Our outcome was a foundation of farmer information pre-interviews. Our second objective was to stimulate a shared sense of kuleana between farmers and communities in rebuilding food systems through understanding cultural influence and using agroecological principles. So our strategies included connecting best practices to various environments and landscapes. We had several different indicators, anything from fertilizer inputs, cropping systems, were they using traditional practices such as moon phases or innovative practices such as aquaculture. Our metrics were then the number of practices integrated into each farmer's system, and our outcome was to help narrow down the scope of the farmer participation within the vegetation continuum and to better understand best practices and how they are associated with the soil type and the foods grown. Sustainability of this social network is dependent on new interns working with Kahealani to foster relationships with the farmers found on this database. As seen on this slide, I recommend that phase two be establishing interviews to voice the mo'olelo of the farmers, and phase three would then include implementing both phase one and two onto the website to officially launch this living network. Thus, the third objective of the Kaya'ulu specifically is to promote the mo'olelo that have inspired farmers to engage in this work to foster a personal connection between local food and community. Strategies would include recording stories and collecting resources that have inspired farmers. Indicators would be oli and chants, mele, mo'olelo, Hawaiian new pepper articles, inspirational leaders or readings. Metrics would then be a collection of references correlated to place, and our outcome would be farmer profiles that foster community and sustain local food systems. My personal values align with those of the vegetation continuum, as it recognizes that the severance from the land results in the severance of a person's awareness and purpose. A person seeking internal balance may restore their connection to self and center themselves at the Pico, which is the central point of Oahu. Connecting the Kanaka to the Aina can restore our relationships with each other and emanate positive radiant energy starting within the environment around us. I really hope to spend my life restoring people's connection with the land through which we learn to heal ourselves. I'd like to thank everyone that's been a part of my graduate journey and would specifically like to thank my community sponsor, Kahea. She's been an incredible inspiration and has provided me with personal and professional guidance in my field of interest. I'd also really like to thank my faculty mentor, Dave, for supporting my value-based decisions and encouraging me to follow the project I was most passionate about. Thank you.